action. In 2020, 53 million Americans didn't vote. The number one question is, why didn't 53 million Americans vote? And I got the answer, because you know that the American political system is rigged. You know when it comes to running for president, our system is broken. Only the Republican Party and Democratic Party control all of America. And I want the president of the free world to look like me, a regular average American person. They ain't gotta be black, but they should know what it feels like to be an American. They should know what it feels like to go to work every single day. If you work two jobs, and at the end of the week, you got just enough money to get your broke ass home, let me hear you say, that ain't right. That ain't right. 95% of the American population, we are employees. And we ain't had no new labor laws in America in decades. And I know that you can feel it in your pocket. Every time you go to the gas pump, that you, you can feel that our election and our system is broken. Every time you go to the grocery store, you can feel that our economy is broken. And I'm like, how can we fix it? The only way that we can fix a broken system is if we choose to participate. We got to get those 53 million Americans. We got to get them engaged. How do we get 53 million Americans to participate in the political system? My idea is that I need 100 American citizens to be heroes. How can you be a hero in a broken system? I need you to run for president. Yes, you. Three requirements to become president of our country, and they're less demanding than you'd imagine. The qualifications ain't that hard. You ask me, well, how do I run for president? Legally, you have to have been born in the United States, lived there for 14 years, and be over 35. You run for president and you win and you change America for the good. Even if you don't win, you will have such an amazing impact on the political landscape that we can have better conversations. America needs political creativity and political diversity. I think we got the greatest citizens in the whole entire world. I think you make America great. Now, how in the world can we continue to make America powerful? I need powerful American citizens to stand up, do their civic duty, and represent this great nation as the leader of the free world. Right now, the way the system is, it costs about a billion dollars to be the president. Do you have a billion dollars? No, but I know that we have a system right now that we could have the first viral president. Well, what does the viral president need? I think that if you were able to get 10 billion views on your political campaign, I think that you could have enough impact on our election that we can have some fresh ideas to help the American person. This is so exciting to me. You gotta be 35, live in America for 14 years, and be able to raise $5,000 for your political campaign. I think that that's possible. Like, the, like, like in the water boy, you you can do it. You can be the president of the United States of America. And I think that a good portion of American citizens, they will support you. If a hundred American citizens run for president, we'll put so much pressure on the system. The Democratic Party will have to do something. The Republican Party will have to do something. If you run as an independent, we'll have the largest voter turnout in the last 100 years. There'll be so many Americans voting for president because they'll be voting for someone who's just like them. They came from the working class. But I'm saying we have the resources. I read that castle. They said that was done in four years. And Claudio made a joke. He's like, there was a lot of slaves. <laughs> well, it's a lot of slaves right now, bro. Are you interested in politics? Yes, 2024, I'm president. Once Kanye West got distracted, I was like, I can't count on no billionaire. I don't want to count on no lawyer. I need a person to come from working class America to rise up to the top and lead America to the one of the most prosperous futures ever. Has the free world ever seen that? A working class person become the most powerful person in our society? That would be exciting. We don't have to wait for a rich person to come and change our lives. We control our destiny. This is the land of the free, the home of the brave. Ain't that what we say? Where are the brave and courageous American citizens who are willing to fight for America and make America the best place on earth? The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.